Hello and welcome back to the Binding of Isaac Afterbirth Daily Isaac Daily Isaac. Hello. We have a basement XL with Cursed Labyrinth. Let's take Mom's knife. Sure. That seems fun. I mean, it's nice of them to give me every basically every time I have a really bad run. They seem to go and just give me something that kind of guarantees a win. I don't know if Mom's knife is really that thing for me. Uh, historically, I've been bad at it or with it. It could have been one of those ones where it's super awesome if you re-roll it, but nobody re-rolls Mom's Knife, right? I mean, in the past, maybe I would have been one of those re-rolls Mom's Knife type people, but... You know, these days I've, I've got some sort of understanding. You get a feel for how long to hold the button down to charge up Mom's Knife. Uh, in order to get it to go as far as you want it, to stay in the position you want it to stay in. Like this. There we go. Decent amount of damage there, decent amount of damage there, and... Lumbered with a troll bomb, but we did get Squeezy, which is a tears upgrade. But also, it's those two spirit hearts, and the spirit hearts are super valuable here, because we're guaranteed to get a deal with the devil, provided we don't lose, you know, both of the spirit hearts, and then take red heart damage right now. I mean, if you want to keep doing the head attack, that's superb, because I can just keep tanking it. Yeah, that's really good. Um, I mean, I don't know if we need a tears upgrade with Mom's knife, right? Uh, I suppose. But then again, suppose we want to re-roll these. Let's give him some uh, HP here. Okay. See if we can get him to pay out. We did get him to pay out with a bottle of pills. So, what I think we do is we take this because it's decent, but then we re-roll these two. We got Sack Dagger, which is brilliant, and then Nine Lives, which puts us down to one red HP, but we already had one red HP, and I will take the uh, Tears and Shot Speed up quick. So, that's actually a really, really amazing deal with the Devil. I think we handled that correctly. The reason I took Black Powder, apart from the fact that I quite like it, um, it's because I wanted to ensure that I'd spent one HP on something that was okay, right? Something that I was happy to spend an HP on, given that we had three, don't forget. And then run the risk that the reroll would give us something that cost two HP, which was an option. Now, things that cost two HP tend to be better, but there are enough 2 HP items that I don't really like, but I didn't want to risk not having Devil Precedent, so I think 1, one HP on Precedent is a, a good bargain. And... Can we get these? We can get these. Should I get these? I don't know. Oh, Quad Shot. Yeah, sweet. So, okay. <laughs> so 1 HP on, um, as I was saying, Precedent is decent, plus the fact that Black Powder is pretty decent, especially if we can get some speed upgrades to improve the our ability to, to sort of create the, uh, the larger and larger circles. Because we're quite slow right now, so the circle we can make is quite small. And then the fact that the Mom's, Mom's coin purse thingy, which is just a bag of pills, really, none of which I really cared about. We do have a pill. We should probably take it. Retro vision. Eh, it's not great. What a place for a tin to drop there. <laughs> um... Yeah, it was sort of a, an icing on the cake thing, because when you take nine lives, it immediately sets you to one HP. Oh, uh, yeah, brilliant, thanks. Help, <laughs> run away. One red HP, irrespective of how many you had. So, since we had one at the time, it was almost literally a free pickup. So that was a really good deal with the devil, and it's good enough that I've spent the past, you know, minute and a half talking about it. Let's talk about the fact that I nearly re-rolled, or I was considering re-rolling, the tears upgrade that we got at the end of the floor from the boss. Which, with Mom's Knife, seems like a decent idea, because Mom's Knife, it does benefit from a tiers upgrade, because the more tiers, the more your tier stat is, the higher your tier stat is, the faster it charges up to, you know, a, a position that you want. To, uh, to the, the quicker, the less time you have to hold it down to get it to go a long way, basically. But with Quad Shot, that massively reduces your tier stat. Like, in and of itself, that's one of the effects it has. I can see Forever's decent. There is a secret room in here. So, it's hard to argue that having four knives is not as good as having one knife. Okay, that's a, a thing, so I suppose so. But now that we have the, the tears upgrades that we won from the bosses, two of them, don't forget. Oh, Maybe I want to try and get over there somehow? I think we use our reroll first. Sad Bombs is actually really good. I'm gonna take, uh, with, not with Mom's Knife, it's not. Also not that good. 
Uh, yeah, Lusty Blood. Faneth Lusty Blood. Take one penny. <laughs> Thank you. It's too expensive to run across those things. It would cost us a life. Uh, of which we have nine. But it also cost us the devil chance. Because it would require us to... Oh, you fucking joker. It would require us to take red heart damage. To run across him. So, uh, I'm going to not at this stage. A speed upgrade would be extremely valuable. But probably the, the main thing that I'm after right now is a tears upgrade. Sack Dagger, of course, is just going to be extremely useful all the time. Here's the boss. I was genuinely not expecting it to be over here, which is why I went in that direction first, but okie dokie. Um, please. <laughs> I'm not fast enough to be cursed with amazed all the time. We're only going to the mom fight, uh, which is something I've literally myself only just looked at. Please, for goodness sake, let me through. We didn't find the super secret room at all, which is interesting. Even though we had... Um, it's probably in one of the places we visited before... We visited uh, before we picked up the I can see forever pill, basically. Was this infested with a question mark? We'll take this on the next floor. Take it now. Perks. Okay. That could help us play the self-sacrifice room in future. That could have helped us get across the um, the spikes to get all the stuff that I was talking about, but we didn't know it was perks. So yeah, we want to try and avoid any red heart damage where possible. Karma, I think, gives you maybe some damage if for... Uh, Good items or something like that. I can't really remember. That's what that trinket is called. Uh, this is a speed upgrade, so I will take it. Because I was talking about speed upgrades. The, penetra the pen penetrative tears has no value for us because Mom's knife just owns through everything all the time anyway. And we have got four of them. And we've got lusty blood, which is causing us to do more damage as we uh, do more damage. Yeah, the more kills we get the more our damage stat goes up. There's been one of those on every floor, and knowing this game, we're going to want to do it, yeah? Um, and there's basically no no question about whether we want to do it. The question is when. And knowing this game, when I want to do it, and when it stops being available to do, are kind of going to coincide. Which is to say, as soon as I've decided now is the time that we want to do it, I'm not going to be able to fucking well do it because of this game. So we may have to do the self-sacrifice room earlier than we'd like. Uh, <laughs> honestly, I don't know when that is. The ideal situation is there's a self-sacrifice room on Necropolis 2, and we find a teleport card or pill. And the teleport card or pill help, uh, allows us to get out of boss rush, so we then do boss rush, teleport out, that could be one of them right there, in fact. And... Ooh, hello. No, just stop. That's good. Uh, that then allows us to get back into the floor. And get the... Self-sacrifice room, which... Oh, this Emperor card. That is the teleport card, but it doesn't get us back into the room. Into the floor. It doesn't get us out of the mom fight, so it's not really good enough, I'm afraid. At this stage, I don't really want to use it because we're exploring, right? We're going fast enough that I'm not as worried today as I was yesterday about getting to Boss Rush. You know, the time we've spent here is very recoverable time. Try not to take any damage if you can avoid it. Being able to kill enemies quickly is all very well and good. <sighs> Sack Dagger saved me there. But when there's a lot of them, you still have to hit them all, right? You're limited to the speed you can kill them simply because there's so many of them. That wasn't quite far enough, unfortunately. That was, and we're done. Sweet. We should probably go to the shop. We have three keys and 20 cents. Blank card, Emperor. Blank card is a really, really good item. But, <laughs> I have the D6, which I am gonna have to suggest is a better item. I'm not sure if that's a controversial stance. I suspect not. At this stage of the game, I think maybe the D6 is the better item. Some uh, extra HP is actually really nice. The tears upgrade is okay. Dark bums here. <clears throat> okay. Um, kind of difficult to suggest what we should do here because I think we should definitely take the pact. Which gives us HP actually, which I had forgotten. So we will also take Dark Bum. And Dark Bum will take this heart and this heart and give us a heart. Thank you. So let's go. We didn't re-roll anything. I'm wondering whether blank card 
is going to turn out to be a great way of breaking the game by finding blank card two of diamonds or blank card yellow or something like that. But, you know, I didn't take it. Now I think about it, kind of regretting not taking it. Um, we'll see what this item room is and whether we want to re-roll it, which we do. Uh, and we want to re-roll it again. I'll give it another re-roll from this. Uh, pretty good, but doesn't... <coughs> well, it does replace the D6, but it doesn't... You know, it doesn't replace the D6 in, a, in an epistemological sense. Which is to say, I know I don't want it to replace the D6. Okay. Um, so, we'll recharge our D6 the old-fashioned way by slaughtering the hordes of the damned. Good. And go back and re-roll that as many times as we feel like. We are, in fact, on the depths one at minutes nine. So I think we may have plenty of time. <clears throat> there is a battery charge, and it's only three cents. Was there a bomb? Yes. Hmm. I'm going to suggest we're going to have enough red hearts on the ground for Dark Bum to pick up that we don't really need to worry about uh, the tinted rocks that are around. And... Sorry, I started thinking about where the hell we were going. Um, therefore, uh, also we don't really need the damage that we can get from from small rock. Even though it would be nice to have extra damage for bosses. You saw how fast we killed Gurdy and, and Mega Fatty. <laughs> Who cares, right? I think we're at enough damage right now that any more would just be obscene. Oh, you are taking damage. Okie dokie. Must remember that we got Black Powder. It's quite difficult to sort of orchestrate it, if you see what I mean. It's it's uh, it's not something that flows naturally whilst running through the rooms. I'm losing a few frames here, I'm not sure why. Um, but also, uh, it's kind of okay. Another really roll like this, go on. Oh, it's, uh, look. Yes, that's what we like to see, something that's really, really good like that. Yeah, black powder is one of those things that sort of comes naturally. Oh, we've got a bomb back. Uh, sort of organically out of playing the runes. It's not something you can aim for. It's not something you think about. You don't do it on purpose. Although, in theory, we can. Oh, that didn't last any time at all. Strength card is also not really what we want, but I suppose it's better than the uh, Emperor card, because, you know, what are we going to use the Emperor card for? Maybe on the later floor? Actually, that's not a bad idea. But we do want to... Maybe try not paying for a deal with the devil, so if we can use the strength card inside a deal with the devil. It seems to lag when I go between doors, which is interesting. But, uh, I don't know if it's going to show up on YouTube or if it's just a, a feature, a fact of life on my screen right now. But I uh, struggle to think that it's going to be that big of a deal. But if you are seeing lagginess, don't worry, it is not your... Ooh, that's very interesting. It's not your... um. A <laughs> blank card Suicide King with nine lives would be brilliant, especially with the D6 afterwards, but of course we wouldn't have the D6. It's not your computer, it is my computer lagging the recording. Do not adjust your set. We control the horizontal and the vertical. What am I doing? It's extremely dangerous. Don't be a fool, man. Don't be a fool, man. Okay, what? Oh, right, right, right. Here's what we do. We hope for a deal with the devil. We've got a deal with the devil. We've got a cube of meat, which is okay. We re-roll it, because it's not that good. We take it. Now we only have 2 HP, right? That's okay. So what we do... Is we go and see whether we can get... Well, first thing we do is we put this... Here. Good. Then we go and see if we can get uh, a Tinted Rock. Of which there are others. I have seen some more. Besides the one that we blew up by... <laughs> Shat myself thinking I was stepping on those spikes, which A, retracted, and B, were on the other side of a pit. Nevertheless, quite terrifying indeed. Where was this other tinted rock then? Here it is. So we put this here to see if the spirit hearts. Which that are. So we use Suicide King. We get some stuff. Suicide King. It takes a life. We now have HP, two batteries, which is great. The Magician. And now we've got some uh, spirit hearts to sort of back us up. Keep us going until... Oh, telepills. Oh, there's telepills! Right, okay. Well, we know about it, which is more than we did before. We've still got the Magician card, which doesn't really 
benefit us to any great extent. There's a shop that we can re-roll. Blue candle. Ah, we've got so much damage, I don't think we care. I think the Suicide King could have done better. But I don't think we're going far enough for it to matter. Now, Blank Card Suicide King on 9 lives would have been really funny. I guess it would be quite entertaining, but we don't have Blank Card, unfortunately. The Emperor gets us to a place, and then we can take this Eternal Heart. This is not the place where the Eternal Heart is. But it's another room that we can do. So there's that. Ah. Hmm. Empress or Emperor? I think Emperor. There's a lot of battery charges, which I am going to leave behind. And I know you might be thinking, don't, <laughs> don't leave them behind. They're going to be good for you. But do I really want to keep backtracking to that shot? You know, re-rolling it. Let's just go. Let's stop thinking about it. If we go to the next floor, we can't double-guess ourselves. It's too damn late. Right. Moment of truth. Is there, on this floor, A, an arcade so that we can get into the boss trap room, and B... Uh, Self-sacrifice room. So, Dark Bomb, if you want to actually... Thank you. Thank you. So, we're going to try and take as little damage as possible, because we're going to want us put, to put as much damage as possible into any uh, self-sacrifice room that may exist. Which means we're going to need all our HP, and probably then some more. Dark Bomb, get over here. In order to facilitate this master plan. Which I've put a lot of time and thought into, as you can no doubt tell. Dark bum, thank you. Uh, oh, fuck me. Well, I guess we re-roll both of these. And we're probably going to re-roll them again. So I did take some damage. But that's because a spider appeared from probably Dark Bum. Now I think about it, Dark Bum probably just gave us a spider. Uh, an angry spider, a bad guy spider. But a spider nonetheless. Oh. <sighs> So Dark Bum can, uh, can backfire somewhat. Used to be, in the first days of Afterbirth, that, uh, of, of Rebirth in fact, that Dark Bum would just always pay out with a Spirit Heart. He did get nerfed. Sometimes he pays out with a good spider, sometimes with a bad spider. But it's still a really, really good... Uh, I was going to say damage proposition? Value proposition. My brain sort of combined the cadences of these two words. I kind of want to not use my bomb just now. We've got plenty of time. We also want to find a... We want to find a card to teleport with. Oh, you twat. Fine. We lost one HP in the worst possible way. By being a twat. We want to find a teleport card so we can leave the boss rush. And then we can go into it whenever we're ready. Uh, excuse me. <laughs> chest in chest, it's... I don't understand. Are the ones inside slightly slower than the ones outside? So they go at a third of the speed. Well, whatever the effective value was. Yeah, I knew you'd be there. See me dodging vertically, thinking there's going to be a beam. Hopefully these... Oh, they don't match up. Well, that's a shame. Also, hopefully, there's going to be a way out of this floor. We haven't got very many consumables at all. Now we have to actually traverse this damned room. Good. And then we have to traverse it back, of course. This is not dark. Uh, this is not Enter the Gungeon. Or Darkest Dungeon, but it's also especially not Enter the Gungeon. Where you could just teleport to the boss fight as soon as you found it. Well, you didn't last long. The arcade did not give us a way of spending our red HP, so now we cannot get into the boss trap room unless there's a secret room next to it. We'll take Flat Penny for what it's worth. Hello. That's helpful, especially since you gave me my bomb back. I appreciate you giving me my bomb back. Did that right, somehow. Can't get in secret room there. No secret room there. Did I just bash the mic? Perhaps. 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 So, now we come back up here. We bring our bomb and our spacebar item into this room. We press this. Lemon mishap even worth picking up? Or do we re-roll everything? Fuck it. Now we've got a lot of HP. Unfortunately, apart from the fact we're superbly, extremely, incredibly slow, that is not where that uh, secret room 
is. <laughs> to be fair, it's pretty clearly here. Wow, can we even walk to the boss in time at this speed? Who knows? Teleport card? No. I mean, the teleport card now is irrelevant. Oh my god, we're so slow. It's because we've got lard. Which is a decent HP upgrade. We also have the mind, which is why we know where both secret rooms are. But we've got a shitload of HP. There is no self-sacrifice room, which is why it doesn't matter that uh, there's no teleport card. Oh, we're stompy as well, so I guess we just step on things that we want to break. I could have told you it was here. You didn't even need a map. Oh, jeez. Okay, good. We can re-re-roll. We won't lose the HP, I think. Unless we get nine lives, which we already have, so we can't. We've got a tiny planet. Fucking, is that Ipecac soy milk? I think it is. Please land. Yes, that's Ipecac. Strength and strength. Okie dokie. Uh, <laughs> help. What do you even do in this situation right now? We've still got Stompy. We are still Stompy, I suppose you'd say. So, we charge basically immediately, and then we spend all day trying to avoid actually exploding ourselves. <laughs> Help. Uh, well, we're going to boss rush. So, at some point, we'll be re-rolling. Simply as a result of boss rush. Awas. <gasps> it's Awas! Are you fucking kidding me? This is really good. Right, so we'll, we'll take the Polaroid for what it's worth. This is a strength card, which we don't really want. We want the Awaz card. Rune. And then we will somehow kick this off. <clears throat> it's all kicking off now. I think we take Dry Baby. <coughs> oh. Although, to be fair, we're going to re-roll everything anyway, so who gives a shit, right? As long as we can survive enough rounds. I don't know where my tears are. They're so high in the air. I can't actually tell where they're going to land. We just need to survive enough rounds that... Oh, there's Dry Baby for you. Oh god, help. At any point, we can just give up. We can just leave. Because we have an AWAS room, which will allow us to exit boss rush. Oh, walks into that. Not ideal. Good. Help. Help. <laughs> I can't see it. Oh, one more fucking round. We don't even have the habit. So we can't get any uh, benefit out of being hit so much, which is very scary. Luckily, there's no way we can do Hush on this run. However, by the time we get to the opportunity to do Hush, we could be extremely strong. Please just hit. <laughs> I don't care where you hit. Just land. Oh, you got me. I was super trying to avoid that, but... I genuinely have no idea how or whether it's actually predictable or I guess otherwise. Where where are you? There you are. So we'll try this. Good. You're bouncing around. I don't know how to <laughs> how to deal with this fight right now. Look, just kill him and then we can reroll. Good. Reroll. We've got Beelzebub so we can fly, so we can hang hang out over here. That was the tears from the previous game. Previous Run, ow. Well, now everything's uh, attacking everything else, except for this one who appears to be immune to that bullshit. Oh, shit. Okay, good. We have two... No, we have one uh, attack fly. Uh, an orbital fly. What do we feel about this run? Somehow we got HP. We have Isaac's heart, so this is getting re-rolled. <laughs> However, Isaac's heart is not that bad as long as you can... Keep on top of it, quite literally. We've got, uh, I guess, Iron Bar. Iron Bar. Or something similar. We do have the Wafer. Which is actually a very valuable item on the next floor, which we can get to because we have the AWAS rune. I wonder if that AWAS rune is seeded. I assume the. Oh, pardon me? I, I definitely hit that, I'm just saying. <laughs> we, <laughs> we charmed his own shot. And it, it attacks him. We do have two orbital flies. And that hurt like shit. And where did that one come from? Uh, we also have the peeper. 
We have two orbitals, but I'm not sure what the... Like, I don't know why they're at the same... What hit me here? There is no way that thing has that much of a... Hitbox. Oh, it's because I've got Isaac's heart. Oh my god. I've forgotten about Isaac's heart. This is awful. I was avoiding it with my body, but I need to avoid it with Isaac's heart. Which is really hard, because Isaac's heart is behind me. Where the fuck are you, bro? Get out of here. I need to kill this thing, but it keeps sending this bullshit after me. That was a really good shot, I'll be honest. So is this, uh, is this Cursed Eye that we've got here? Why are we charging up shots? I'm not a fan of shots that are charging up, because it could well be Cursed Eye. Please, just let me hit you. I want to kill you. I need you to be over. There you are, right. Okay, good. One more fucking wave. We did get some HP from that. Oh. Keep orbiting this bloke, though. Look at this joker. We've got 49 cents, which is not much use. Ow! Jesus Christ. Uh, we have uh, Bob's Curse, apparently, so... I mean, it's not the end of the world. It's not the most amazing item, but... It could be helpful. Did you see me predict that fucking angel shot and not stand where I was about to stand? Can you attack each other somehow? Is that too much to ask? Ah, okay. We have a... Uh, we do have Evil Eye, which is what's... Oh, Isaac's fucking heart, though. It's what's causing these um, eyeball shots that sort of fly around. Where is it even? Okay, so that was actually in range of... What I'm having most difficulty with in this situation is that the hitbox of the enemies is already a little bit wonky. And then Isaac's heart is somewhere completely different. No fucking idea. Let's try and use orbital damage here and just get it done. Right, good. Reroll. Spun. Sp Whoa, we're fast. Okay, what is happening? Let's get rid of these jokers first. I'm not sure... We've got chocolate milk with... Um, with with technology. Technology 1, which completely replaces our tears. Oh my god, how fast is this? Perks is pretty good. It will certainly help on the next floor. But of course, we're not taking it to the next floor because we're taking... Ah, oh, we can take it to the next floor because we're using AWAS on this floor. I mean, we could have used it by now if we really wanted to, but I honestly didn't want to. Um, the chances of me accidentally falling down the pit are non-zero. Where the hell's my little Gerdy at? Oh my god, we've taken so much damage just from that fight because I couldn't see what was going on. I'll be honest, any fight with the bloat in it that you win? Good fight, well done. <laughs> Pat on the back. We are not losing our transformations, by the way. So whenever we gain more of them, you know, consider it a, a bonus. We can't get hit again. But what we could think about doing is just leaving. We won't get the credit for boss rush. I want it. I want it. <laughs> Let me have it. Oh, jeez. Where is everything? Where is it? Where is it? Where my spirit heart gone? There it is. Okay, good. I've got it. We have it. Did we already kill Mega Fatty? I think we did. We're still alive. Like, I'm trying not to panic really, really hard. Let's reroll. Now we have a shitload of HP. We just picked up the Halo, which has completely healed us. We've also picked up Fruitcake. And some more HP. We've got Deadeye. This is a really good run. I think we'll keep this one. Mostly because it just healed us from the brink of death. <laughs> and now we're uh, on an amazingly good run with... Admittedly, Fruitcake can be extremely dangerous because every single shot is different. Um... Any of which could turn out to completely screw you over. But hey, that's the fun, right? All it takes is one unexpected fruitcake. Oh, hello. Oh, great. We've <laughs> also got Curse of the Tower. Of course there's a downside to this amazing run. It just takes one fruitcake um, explosivo shot. Well, not explosivo, fire mine shot or ipecac shot to get up in our grill when we didn't expect it. 
Although, every so often there's going to be an explosivo fucking holy light shot like that one. And we're going to be going, this is the best thing. Not explosivo. What am I talking about? Fruit cake, holy light shot. Oh my god. Run away. <laughs> Cower. Oh good, yeah. Let's take this in. There you go. Have that. What hit me there, though? You don't have Isaac's heart anymore, I'm sure. Yeah, we've re-rolled out of that. Maybe it's just one of these jokers. Did we re-roll again? I think no. You know, you've got to know when to quit, otherwise you're going to end up breakfasting yourself. Which, for anyone not up with the, the parlance of Isaac terminology, it's when you've re-rolled so many times that the only items left in the game for it to give you are breakfast. And so all you end up doing is stacking up HP that you can't actually use because, um, you know, you, you can't get more than 12 HP. We want to make sure we've got our AWAS room, although we're not going to lose it. It's not going to go anywhere. It's not like we're going to walk out of this room going, oh, what did we do? Guess we've won. We'll take our trophy. No, no, no. The AWAS room will be here. But we don't need our perks pill either. So what we really need to consider is that we can get some good use uh, out of any other pills that may drop. We seem to know what they all are, which means we seem to have Scorpio. Unless that's Virgo. I think that's not Virgo. I'm pretty sure that's Scorpio. That M shape down in the uh, bottom of our list because it's got the tail the stabby tail thing and that basically my mnemonic for remembering which one's Scorpio is the fact that it's got a tail like a stabby tail fucking sister Maggie brilliant I guess we take it <laughs> why the hell not we'll put this here we'll go down to the next floor with our perks with eight lives don't forget we had eight lives but we wouldn't have been able to go back into boss rush which did by the way take eight goddamn minutes at least. I mean, I'm pretty sure we started it before 20 minutes. Well, <laughs> what did I say? Um, yeah, I'm pretty sure we started Bosterus before 20 minutes start had, was even close. And yet, there we were finishing it at 28 minutes. Luckily, we cannot do Hush. The door will simply not open, even if we make it that far. There's a Bacano rune. There's a lemon party pill, which could be valuable on a room. Uh, not that room. Why have I got flies? So let's have a look at what we got. We got Capricorn, which is HP up. We got the Halo, which is HP up. Okay. Capricorn is all stats up. The Halo is all stats up. We have <coughs> excuse me. We have homing bombs, which could be actually quite useful. We still have the D4. <laughs> We could panic reroll. We have obviously got a uh, fruit cake. We've got uh, Scorpio. We may have other stuff, but I don't really care to look. We've obviously got Death's Touch, which gives us um, piercing shots. There. Let's just fly over here <laughs> to hell with everything. We have Seraphim. We have Bomb uh, Coin Bag. I think that's Coin Bag. Holy Water. What's behind Holy Water here, though? I don't know, but it scares me. If that's Isaac's heart, I'm going to be sad. I don't think it's Isaac's heart, because I just got hit bodily. Alright, it's Curse of the Tower helped us find the uh, super secret room here. So we'll take that. If we find a way to... Uh, the only way to the next floor, besides an AWAS room, is a uh, self-sacrifice room. Which we're going to look for. We're going full out here. We're going super cyan. We're definitely going to be looking for everything we can possibly find. Apparently there's a spirit heart in here. Someone said there was a spirit hut. Free to a good home. Good to a free home. Kind of really want to stay away from all enemies, just in case our tear explodes. Well, our first reroll was extremely entertaining, but we survived it. Unfortunately, it did allow us to take... You know, it gave us the opportunity to just take even more damage. <laughs> so our damage bonus is going to be insane. We should be using Lemon Party at some point, but maybe we use it on the boss? Uh, hello? Ooh. I think I want to use this straight away. I don't want to risk losing it. That seems like a sensible idea. So we go down here and take our uh, other eternal heart from the super secret room. And we've got an extra HP, which is really, 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 really nice. Because if we do find a self-sacrifice room, we're going to be happy to have the extra HP. Uh, the extra heart containers that we can fill with red hearts. Because they're going to be a lot easier to come by uh, than um, spirit hearts, which is obviously what we're going to be spending first. But you know. 
Careful of these, yeah. It was ready to explode. Gonna burst, gonna pop. Oh baby. I'm gonna pop. Yeah, Loki though, just stand the fuck still so I can shoot you. I mean, having Death Touch and all these extra tier bonuses is great, but our rate of fire is so low. We're still going... Our DPS is low. Even still. There's some uh, some HP that will put us in the sort of situation we want to be in for permanent Polaroid invincibility later down the line. That was extremely poor, but it's doing a lot of damage to uh, bloat here. He gave us another Eternal Heart. I'm not sure what we did to deserve that. I guess we take the HP here. I mean, any more HP that we can find at this stage is going to be great if there's a self-sacrifice room, and if there isn't, and there's no AWAS rune, then at least we did one more floor, even though it's taken us literally forever. And when I say literally forever, forever I mean literally forever. Uh, there's a bomb in there. I've actually been in that room and I knew it. Just testing. The Eternal Heart will protect us from damage, but it's not going to survive till the next floor, because without an AWAS rune, there's no way of getting to the next floor without taking that damage. Uh, we're looking for a secret room, not a super secret room, which could be here. We have um, glitter bombs, which is prize bombs, which we had yesterday, in fact. I found pills, and I ate them. Bombs are key does not really interest me. Uh, we don't need anything from pills, from, from mushrooms. Bombs are key does not interest me, we've got... We, we're going to be using bombs more often than keys, and we've got more of them, so... I guess we're sorted in that regard. Plus, we keep picking up, picking up keys, and we're not getting any bombs at all. Can you pay out with runes? I don't think so. Wow, our luck stat must be amazing. Every single fucking player's paid out so far. What the hell? Oh, good. I thought the game was broken. It started giving me what I want. It's just chucking out fucking coins. What the hell? <laughs> so the broken remote will teleport us whenever we use our active item. Which itself will re-roll us every time we uh, use it. So, I mean, make of that what you will. This is it. This is the end of the road. There's no self-sacrifice room on this floor. This is a great time to have cards. Uh, apart from the fact that that would be true if it were the first thing we picked up. However... We've done the whole floor. I mean, that could be a seam that we missed if we'd gone in this direction first, found Ace of Spades, then we have a much greater chance of finding cards, and as a result, presumably, also uh, runes, and therefore Awas runes are very much an option. Awas? No. Take these. Thank you for that. Well, I see no way down. We found both secret rooms. Reroll. Oh my god. Oh, we got marked. Uh, okay. Reroll. <laughs> yes, mother. What do we have now? We've got I can see forever. Well, we've got X ray specs. We've got conjoined. This looks like toxic shock. Got a terribly low rate of fire. Let's uh, do that again. We did get an extra life in there somewhere, but I don't know what we did to deserve it. This is interesting. This is psychedelic as fuck. Let's go with this. Balls to everybody else. This is what we're doing. Oh, we've already fucking won the fight, haven't we? Ah, uh, I forgot. Well, 34 minutes to beat the second floor. 503rd, that's fine. You know, we did okay. We took a lot of damage that we shouldn't have taken. Couldn't control our explosive Ipecac. Fucking, oh my god, soy milk Ipecac. Tiny planet. What was just amazing. 503rd seems good to me. Well, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, uh, consider subscribing if you haven't already and uh, sharing and all that good stuff. We are a fledgling channel who really appreciate the, the communal effort. But until tomorrow, I'll see you around.